Okay, tell others sir, I sir, have kept this class recordings. Okay, others again, if they are the class are recording with any, they are going to be able to do it. Class here, but try to join the class. Live class will be at the moment. So, parallelly with incident on call camera. Now, here we are deriving information between focal length and the radius. Sir, we are stuck on the tree. Okay, I, I kept recording. Okay, uh, you be in a live class. Live class already is ready. Uh, I think uh, there is a network problem. Okay. So open after it is because of network problem. Network problem I kept recording. Recording it any. Uh, afterwards you can see the recording also. Uh, presently now try to understand it. If you have any doubt, you ask. Okay. So the here we are deriving relation between focal length and radius of curvature of concave mirror. And here I consider a concave mirror with a focal length f and radius of curvature. And the concave mirror will consider a concave mirror with focal length f with the radius of curvature r. Okay. So then a parallel ray started from a, a in the starting ray, start again, it's striking the mirror at the m. After striking the mirror at m, it reflects, after reflection, reflection r m. A light in the passive vector that ray passed through the principal. Principal focus is the passive Okay. And here this distance is the focal length. What is focal length? Focal length is the distance of principal focus from the uh, pole is called uh, the focal length. And at the point of incidence at M, if I draw a normal, normal draw at the point M. Me at C. So this is the point. Now here the angle between incident ray and reflected ray is called the angle of incident. And the angle between reflected ray and nominal is called the angle of reflection. Angle between incident ray and normal is called the angle of incidence. And the angle between the reflected ray and normal is called the angle of reflection. At the point here, yeah. I draw a normal to principal axis <laughs> at B. So at P, line mark is under there. Here, principal axis is normal on the ground. Okay? The normal ground at the point here to the principal axis is MD. MD is a straight line. So then, so here we are deriving an expression for the relation between focal length and radius of curvature, angle between normal and incident ray, the angle AM C is equal to angle AM C is the angle of incident C M F Angle A M C is equal to C A M is equal to theta. So reason is according to law of reflection. Law of reflection of the angle of law of reflection tells angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. This is angle of incidence. This is angle of reflection. So second law of law of reflection of the study by the way, the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection. And after that. AMC is equal to CMF is equal to theta and the next one, the angle AMC angle AMC is equal to MCD MCD and which is also equal to theta. This angle is equal to this because they are alternate angles. The angle and the other are alternate angles. Clear angle? Why angle A M C is equal to the angle A M A M C is equal to M C. So what is the reason? The reason is that right? In the angles. Angle is equal to this angle. Alternate angles. Yeah. Okay, 
after that, the angle Y F B, the angle Y F B. Is equal to 2 theta and this is 2 theta. Reason is so yeah. So this is point M and here this is C and this is F and here this is D and this is theta and this is theta. Then M F D is an exterior angle to the triangle M C F. An exterior angle is equal to sum of interior sum of interior opposing angles. So what are the sum of interior opposing angles? Sum of interior opposing angles theta plus theta is equal to two theta. So that the angle M F D is equal to two theta L. Okay. So the angle M F D is equal to two theta. Reason is <coughs> exterior angle to the triangle M C R C M. So the angle M F to be is two theta. Reason is this is exterior angle to this. Right. Okay, now next in a triangle, in a triangle, which triangle I have considered? M C B. Right. M C B. M C B is here. M C B. And so this is M C B. So in a triangle MCD, what is tan theta? In a triangle MCD, tan theta is equal to opposite dependent by adjacent. Enter what is the triangle MCD tan theta? Tan theta value enter. So tell me the value of tan theta. MD divided by MD divided by C D. Next, I will consider another triangle. <coughs> so, here I will consider another triangle, tan 2 theta. So, tell me what is the tan 2 theta? Tan 2 theta, what is the value? Yam, yam, B. So this is two. See Yam, yam, B. So tan two theta. Tell me what is the tan two theta? M D by M D. M D by F D. Yeah. M D by F D. So you get it by yam. And the aperture. Of this lens, so as the aperture is a small, and the aperture of concave mirror is small. So, theta is now, aperture is a small component. When we are taking aperture small, the theta value is small. Okay? So, aperture small, aperture small, is the theta value is like small. For a small angle, if for a small angle, I will write if theta is more then I can write uh, if theta is small then I can write tan theta is nearly equal to theta. 
So tan theta is nearly equal to theta, and that theta is equal to m d divided by. I'll make it as this as equation one. So tan theta is nearly equal to theta, and which is equal to m d divided by c d equation one. And tan two theta is nearly equal to. So small angle. Sin theta is nearly equal to theta. Tan theta is nearly equal to theta, and cos theta is nearly equal to one. Okay. Other prakar na hai na karna hai. So we are taking small aperture. Aperture is small. So when aperture is small, theta is also small. For small angle, tan theta is nearly equal to theta, and tan two theta is nearly equal to two theta. So then the tan two theta is equal to what? Yam d divided by yam d. Yam d divided by This is equation one. Now substitute substitute equation one in equation equation one and two are the same. Equation one and two are the same. Equation one and two are the same. Two as it is. What is the theta value? Theta is equal to m d divided by c d. Is equal to next one. M D divided by F D. M D and D cancel. So that F D is equal to C D divided by two. So and here point D. Point D is very close to. So this point D is very close to P. If D is not there, P is a part of the right. Of the right, right? Now we have to move. So here we have to move. Here we have to move. Yamdi is near the equal. Not Yamdi. Yamdi is near the equal. So this is nearly equal to F D, and that F D is equal. F D is nearly equal to F P. What is F P? The distance of principal focus from the pole is called as focal length. And here I'll write small m, and also next I'll write C D is nearly equal to. So the C D is nearly equal to C D. C D distance nearly nearly how many equal to that? C D distance. Okay. So C D is nearly equal to C D is equal to. Now use sign convention. Sign convention is used for that. The small f is positive or negative? Diagonal of here to me is normal. Now you ask again, tell me. So now say negative. Negative. And the, the distance of C from P is equal to. Ah, okay. Now here, this is positive or negative? Negative. Negative. Okay. Yeah, is negative. R is also negative. Focal length is negative, I guess. And radius of the vector is also negative. L of F D and C D in this equation. So that F D is equal to F D is equal to minus J. And C D is equal to minus R divided by. So this implies that F is equal to R divided by. I get F is equal to R divided by. So this is the relation between focal length and radius of curvature. Okay. So using this relation, the relation that you have to do, I mean, what to do? We can solve many problems. I get. The same thing can be applicable for convex mirror also. Here we derive the relation for concave mirror. In the last one we did, we have to derive this relation only for a concave mirror. Concave mirror is a straight direction only. So, which is applicable for convex also? So, for concave, if we go to capital R by two plus R by two. For convex also, if we go to plus R by two only. Convex mirror is plus R by two. 
uh, in tomorrow's class we can ask those difficulty okay so next year, we have a mirror formula so this is a very important question for three months very important question very important question is the number of times the question on the examination over three months so many times they ask for this question for three months okay so now So after this, we have a mirror formula. Mirror formula on the The equation which is a relation between object distance, image distance, and the focal distance. We have a formula or an equation of object distance, image distance. Object distance, image distance. The focal length of the relation of the portal are in the equation of the mirror formula. What is the mirror formula? Equation which gives the relation between object distance, image distance, and the focal length of given mirror. Okay. Here we have a derivation. The derivation is only there for a concave mirror, and we are deriving that mirror formula in case of concave mirror, and it is applicable to convex also. Okay. There is no change. So, diagram in a draw mode, diagram draw mode is very difficult, um, difficult in a easy that. But uh, as I observed, students are facing very much difficulty in drawing a diagram of this one. The diagram in a draw mode is very difficult in a case one. Already I told you, now you already hear with it in a hand. Ray of text is already light ray in a draw mode, because the arrow mark is compulsory. The arrow mark is not going to be the ray diagram is completely zero marks. Okay, so simple little diagram. Now let us consider a concave mirror. You have to use a diagram or draw mark. You practice this diagram. Okay, tomorrow I will do the derivation of this. So now let us consider a concave mirror. Concave mirror. So this is a concave mirror with a focal length f and radius of curvature r. So now, here this is the principal focus of concave mirror. And here this is the center of curvature of concave mirror. So the focal length is the center of curvature. Then. The distance of principal focus from the pole is equal to small m. The distance of C from the pole is equal to capital R we can say. Capital R. The distance of pole from the center of curvature. Now let us consider. A linear object AB placed perpendicular to the principal axis in front of concave mirror. Concave mirror is the linear object AB in the principal axis. That linear object AB placed perpendicular to the principal axis in front of concave mirror. Concave mirror is the exact same. Here this is a linear object. So light ray from A, one ray, one light ray from A, started from A, travel parallel to the principal axis, incident on concave mirror and another ray travel along the principal axis, incident at here at this point, and return back to a pass further. Travel along this path and reflect and came back in the same direction. Great axis with path. So next another way. incident directly at pole. One the light ray like the principal axis is a parallel line travel at on concave mirror at the end incident. You know the light ray direct L incident back to the that ray incident the directly at the point. Is the okay. Now another way, 
टफ कर रही है इंसिडेंट ऑन कॉन्के मिरर नॉर्मली एंड इट वी ड्रेसेस इट फॉर इंटरफ कर रही है इसका पास आई होगी इवन लाइक ये ना होगा इधर इस इंटरफ कर रही है इसका पास मार के ये पास मार के आइडिया आता है कॉन्के मिरर में इसे नॉर्मली रिसेंट आते हैं तब पास है ना वी ड्रेस रिफ्लेक्ष It will be in this position, and here this is the position of the dash. So that at this point, at the real inverted image, the dash, the dash. At this point, I am getting real inverted image, the dash, the dash. Not the real one. Here this is the concave mirror. This is the focal area of the real image. And we are placing a linear object AB. Perpendicular to this point, in front of concave mirror. The linear object A B is principal axis is perpendicular to it, and it is placed beyond C, C center of curvature in the line. So then what happens? Ah, uh, the linear object A B is from point A one to line A, principal axis is parallel to it, parallel to it, and M is in the line. Reflection of the principal focus is in the passing. You know the right way. L incident at one, that way incident at B, at P incident at one. A reflection at the other. So that do that way will be the this one. Another one passes through center of collision. Incident normally on surface and it will be this is the part. A muru light ray is the end of the color. They meet at a point A dash. Muru light ray is the end of the color. They meet at the A dash. So the position of uh, position A dash B dash means A dash B dash is the position of the real inverted image. Position A dash B dash is a real inverted image. So here I write the distance of object from mirror is called object. The distance of image from mirror is called image. The distance of object from mirror is called as from pole is called object is. The distance of image, the distance of image from pole is called image distance. Image distance denoted by notation V. Object distance denoted by notation U. Radius of curvature R. Focal length F. Okay, now tell me the sign curvature. Here that focal length is positive or negative? Focal length is positive or negative? डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉन्क्यू मेर एंड कॉन्वेक्स मेर In case of concave mirror, concave mirror normally focal length is negative. Radius of curvature is negative. Object distance is negative. And image distance depend on position of the object. It may be positive, it may be negative. Positive or अगर निम्न में बोलते हैं इन डेरिवेशन मिरर फॉर्मूला आर पहले यावा का पॉजिटिव होता है यावा का नेगेटिव होता है तो आपसे आर में इतना मैग्निफिकेशन नहीं किया जाता ओके तो यावा का पॉजिटिव होता है यावा का नेगेटिव होता है ओके तो नंबर वन थी और नंबर इन डी कॉन्केव मिरर फोकल एंड थ्री नेगेटिव रेडियस ऑफ़ 
ಇಮೇಜ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ನಿಮಗೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್
Okay, thank you, bye.